Hello, dear ones. Welcome to Touch by the Lord, a program that will build your faith, hope, and trust in the Lord. We are so grateful for life. God has kept you and I, and we want to say thank you, Jesus, for keeping our lives. Our quote today says, every breath we take and every heart that beats is just God's mercy. So learn to appreciate the one who did that for you and live your life right. If you appreciate God, you will live your life properly. What do you have to share to bless someone? Please take our numbers on the screen. Call us and we'll give you that opportunity to share to bless families, friends, and loved ones. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, TBL TV. Like, comment, and share. You will never be the same. Please like our Facebook and Instagram pages, TBL TV. Comment and share to friends, families, and loved ones. Today, we are so blessed to have a great Bishop of God in the seat to bless us with his life story. His name is Bishop Michael Ousuansa, founder and general of Asia of Turning Point Chapel, Mile 7, Achimota. He is also the founder of MOAS Children's Foundation, where children are given financial, spiritual, and emotional support. Bishop is also the brain behind PIPCON, Pastors and Wives Intercessors Conference. He is an author of six powerful books, a husband and a father of three. Today, you'll be blessed by this great man's life story. Welcome, Bishop. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. We thank God for your life. Amen. When one of your, your daughters in the Lord came to share her testimony, your name came in. And I was so blessed for what God used you to do in her son's life. And I know you are a man of few words, but God has done so many things through you. And today we are blessed that you share your life story with us. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Um, before we set the ball rolling, please can you share a bit about your life, your childhood life with us? Amen. Mm. My name is Michael Ossian mm. By the grace of God, this shall be 58 years. Wow. Amen. <laughs> My daddy is late now. Yeah. My mom is too is late. Yeah. My daddy was a timber contractor. Wow. We live in Kumase, area called Africa Bongo. Wow. It's a residential area. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of basic people like yes. Alan Shemartin and Joe Pia. Yeah. Yeah. My lady was very rich. Mm. But one thing that I grew to know, I saw polygamy mm. in our family. Mm. My daddy have a lot of women around. Wow. And he used to travel with me when mm. I was a kid. Mm. So we used to travel. Were you his favorite? Yes. Mm. Yes. So we used to travel everywhere we go, yeah. we, I meet another mommy. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember sometimes I said, Papa, uh, why do I call this man? Say, it's your mother. You, call, you, you ask him? Yeah, because I become confused. <laughs> yes. A lot of women, everywhere you go, <laughs> see that mother there. And as a child, you'll be as confused. Child, yeah. yeah. So I've asked, Daddy, why oh, do I say, call him mommy? It's okay. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know where mommy the mommy the short one there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I grew in this area yeah. that rich people, mm. big people. Mm. Uh, but one thing I I, I, I I got to know that mm. there is no fear of God. Yeah. So as I was growing, urbanizing became one of my wow. lifestyle. I did Jerry Kills before. 
Jerry Kills. Jerry Kills. I start with stretching my head myself with a uh, stretching comb. Wow. Yeah. Be sure. Yes, because <laughs> I love I love to look good. Be, was it because of your dad? No, the I don't know, but mm. I long to please women. You wanted to please women? Because they, they appreciate uh, when they see you. Because you were looking nice. That's what yes. they say. So I love That's them. what they say. <laughs> Uh, do things for yeah. them to say more. Yeah. And I grew with a community that have all grown ups chase women left and right. So sometimes wow. they call between and they send you to go yeah, and, and call. call them. So how they do things, I start doing the same thing. Wow. But unfortunately, uh, I break my virginity with an older woman. Who is like an auntie to me? Wow! Who live in the area, mm. and that thing went on several times because a time came, mm. thing become bad to my dad. My dad fall sick all of a sudden, mm. and as Ashanti, they always want to work with Ofasi. Yeah, Ofasi for so he didn't train anybody or his, his children. So Ofasi to the company, wow. and thing became difficult because all the wives are housewives. How about four wives? They're all housewives. Including the other mummies. Yes. Or they were no more in no. the city. Those that yeah. are around my daddy yeah. are but the girlfriends are many. Hey. So things become very difficult for us. My mommy had to sell his things to take care of us. So in the well, do you think that because daddy was taking you to yeah, to those that trips, one, that, one, that, one, that, that is why you also started it's doing true, that. It's true, because I thought that's how man is supposed to. Yeah. Because I know I was going, I said, me, I can't stay with one, one woman. That's what I you was, were saying. I was telling my friends, it, I was proud to say that. Wow. That I can't stay with one woman. And woman, mm -hmm. if I, I sleep with you, no, that's all. I'll wow. go for another wow. woman. And easily got them. Yeah, sometimes because they, of their looks. Sometimes they even come. Yeah. Okay, so it becomes something so from this mm -hmm. daddy was taking you around yeah. and because of that you grew up seeing these things you know train up a child the yes, way they should yeah, go yeah. so that was your training but in my house there's mm. nothing called church mm. there's nothing my mama didn't go to church my daddy didn't go to church everyone was but there I got to, my daddy used to go to fetches for space and she used to go with me so i'll be there they were giving my daddy's things in the fetish sh the shrine shrine yeah, everywhere she goes, she go with me. But I said, no, don't touch my son. That's what he said? Yes. So don't from this, someone is watching us. Because even if daddy didn't go to church, you know, the word of God cuts across everything that yeah. we do. So that was your training you were I getting think, yes. by observing his ways. Yes, because I, I love my daddy. Yes, and, and eventually he also took after his ways. Yes. Someone is watching us. And they think that whatever negative they are doing, their children are not seeing it. seeing it. What advice would you give them? Yeah, one thing I want you to know, mm. that every step you are taking as mm. a father, because mm. you are the first hero of your, your son or your yeah. daughter, yeah. please be careful. Mm. If you love your son or your daughter, mm. please train that child in the fear of God, mm. but always portray Christ in the house. Mm. And God bless you. Amen. Portray Christ. And God will bless you. So as they were going to the fetish, the fetish and, other and the rest, he said he shouldn't touch you. He shouldn't touch me. And so, so did you go there yourself? When no, you no, I didn't go there myself. Wow. I, I, I'll come back to that. Mm. Uh, so I grew to know that you have to love a lot of women. Mm. So sometimes I have a, a book that will write the woman that you slept with. You, you had a book? Yeah. For fun. Sure. For fun, because you are proud to say I've slept with this, I've yeah. slept with that, slept with this. Yeah. Okay, and sometimes they comes to you without even you call them. Yeah. So I go in the area, but I remember by seven, sixteen, seventeen, mm -hmm. I start looking for Jesus. There's a longing mm. in my heart. But I used to go to this uh, spiritual churches. Uh, white garment churches. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, I used to go to... So when the long game started, yes. you started going there? I used to go there, but wow. I'll come back to do yeah. my thing. Yeah. And when I'm there, sometimes I go here. I'll go and spend one week fasting. Wow. In these churches. And one day, I remember those prophets, one called me and said, you, you'll be a pastor, but only a DAB. That's what the person told she said. So she didn't pray for me. No, cast her not church saying. I don't know. So by here, I suffer, but when you're here, DAB. Bishop, what was the reason why he said that? I don't. One thing I know, the devil see, God sees. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. they can see. Yeah. Your your your, your future. And you know what? Just to say, oh no, your papa. So she didn't say only here, DAB. That's what she said. So he didn't pray for me. He said, I won't pray for you. Go. Just first and go. She never touched me. So I was in this. Mm. When I come, I'll increase. I remember I went to one of the churches and I met one of my girlfriends there. <laughs> Even in that place, it's like we went says fasting. We went all that we have to what? Wow. Sleeping together. In and the in the church? Place. Yes. Wow. And you know this was a man of the man of God to girlfriend. So one day he came to meet me in the, in the room. He said, I should pack my things and go. <laughs> <laughs> God is good though. Yeah. So I grew my, and one thing that. Rev, you know, you are seeing a lot within this time. Yeah. And we need to learn from these yeah. um, life stories. Mm -hmm. The man of God met you. In the, the girl's room. In the girl's room. She was coming to sleep. She used to come and sleep with the girl. Rev, can you advise anybody who says, I am working for God, but I'm doing contrary? Yeah, one thing that we think everything we are doing is just doing sick. Yeah. But I want you to know, everything you are doing, mm. if your life affects somebody negatively, yeah. God is going to judge you. Mm. So it's better when you say you want to serve Christ. If mm. you don't want to serve Christ, it's okay. But if you want to serve Christ, mm. please, please, please do it with all your heart mm. to please him. Let your life give him pleasure. That's it. And God will bless you. Yeah. Let your life give God pleasure and God will bless you. Because because from what you're saying, people just go to church, but the things they do even in church and outside, because Rev, this is the man of God and that's what he was yes. doing. And you went there to meet your girlfriend. Yes. Oh, and so they girlfriend. sack you from church. Yeah, the, the man said, I didn't have I didn't have a choice, so I just packed my things in the, in the morning and just and left. And you left? Wow. Yeah. But I start thinking that mm -hmm. if this man is a man of God, why is he doing what, what I was doing? I know I'm a sinner. <laughs> but if he's a man of God, why is he doing the same thing I'm yeah. doing? So I didn't go there again. Mm. So you went to another place? Yeah, I've been going to Mampong, Aguna, Kumasi. I used to go there because I know. There was a year. I saw. There's something in my family mm. that when they they they, they rise up mm. and they fall. Uh, when they rise, they fall. And one thing that when you travel outside, mm. you come with madness. Wow. I see that in my family. Wow. I've so it kept you thinking. Yeah, I got to know there's something. Mm. But I don't know what is it. Mm. But I was longing to have solution. Mm. At the year 17, 16, 17. Mm. Okay. So sometimes when I sleep, I have this, your spirit will leave you. Mm. I didn't know what is it. I didn't mm. know who to tell. Mm. I said, what is it? I used to have that experience. Mm. And you see things and the next day, what, you don't know what is it. Mm. So it's like that. So I become disco. I used to go and I call it disco. <laughs> it's like it's So with all this you are still going to those yeah. places. Wow. I thought once you go, when you go, you come, you can do, do anything, anything. Yeah. You see, I, I have a sugar mommy before, and <laughs> everything. Yeah. But only thing I didn't do with alcohol and smoking. My daddy was smoking cigar and she drank. But you didn't. No, because I got to know that anytime my daddy drinks, she's a different person. Mm. So the child, I got to know this is not good. Yeah. And sometimes when you smoke, 
I don't like the scent. Yeah. So God is is God. Yeah. It's God who yeah. didn't allow me to go. Some of my friends were smoking being weed. Yeah. But I never try. Mm. I never drink. I think what I drink one day I drink Guinness and uh, uh, cook. And you yes. added. Yes, but it was something I continued. Mm. I continue. Mm. My mommy was very bad influence. Because of the rabbis around him, she used mm. to fight. Oh, okay. We live in a residential area, mm. but any time you see my fight, now they're fighting with a, a, rival. a rival, fighting with a friend's rabbi, anything <laughs> called my mommy in the area. Anything fights. She'll fight. Even when she, friends, let's go. She'll so she was a gang leader. Yes, very beautiful woman. Mm. But because of friends, yeah. she became something. Mm. So I didn't like it. I remember any time when I see this fight, I start crying. I'll just withdraw and cry because I didn't like it. One day I went to a place, a square to look, look for a girl. And I asked the mother, the mother asked me, where do you live? She said, Africa Bongo. Hey, so do you, do you know the woman who used to fight in the area? I said, yeah, I heard about her. You, you said you don't know her? <laughs> no. <laughs> so the girl was laughing, but they don't know that it's yes. my mom. Oh, so, but the girl knew. <laughs> Yeah, but the mother didn't know. Once Africa Bongo, you know, Auntie Susie in Africa, she, she was fight. Susie. Susie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> used to fight. It's a, my, my, mother, my mother is a fancy. My daddy is a shanty. Mm. She used to fight any time you see my mother, and so I would cry. So I started dislike my mom. Oh, you, so you started disliking Because her. of this. Mm. Because of that, that. So I started living the house, living to. And I have houses. My yeah. friends, uh, parents love me. Wherever I go. Wherever it's good, you bought this. She's a mother. Yeah. We're supposed to train her children. Yes. But look at the example. She's, she'll curse you right now. She'll we're curse cursing, you. Cursing, cursing, cursing. She'll curse you. Anytime. Yes. Anytime. My mom will, will, yes. anytime, <laughs> my mama will start cursing. But that I knew that that is not good. Yeah. So someone is watching us, a mother. Mm. And they are gang leaders. Some, sometimes, you know, some women, they fight and fight their husbands. Oh, yeah. And, and they, they even gang up against oh, yeah, their husbands. I see my husbands. mom and my mother fighting. Each one take a bottle, knock, knock it. Yeah. Yes, I've still seen that thing. And we have people like that still. Yeah. W if somebody like this is watching us, what mm. are you going to tell them? One thing I want you to know that please, if you love your children, mm. please behave well. Mm. And let's always show the children Christ's way. Mm. Don't let your life start because one day you die. Sunday I preach what? Build a good memo memorial for yourself mm. and your children, children. True. Just let your life start be a memorial that your mm. children go remember mm. to bless your children. Yeah. So let our lives be a memorial because the children are watching. Did any of your sisters take after her? Yeah. I can see all my siblings. Anytime my mom is fighting, they'll back my mommy. I'm, <laughs> I'm alone. And I, remember, <laughs> I remember sometimes I said, don't talk to this auntie. Mm. And from there, I'll just go there. Wow. So whatever she tells you not to do. Because I know it's wrong. Yeah. I wasn't born again. Yeah. But I know we have yeah. to be close. Yeah. Even those who are living in the house. Mm. And the way he motivates my that is children, other children. Mm. Sometimes when food, he give at best, and I'll give my to my step brother. Wow. And I'll take his. Hey, hey, so, wow. Well, Jimmy, so because I got for doing that, she was also insulted. Yeah, there's something that I know, my mm. mommy. What is doing is not good. Yeah. Because my daddy have a lot of children. Mm -hmm. I said, now if you know, I didn't know. If you you don't know, know some of them. Yes. Viewers, you have been listening to the life story of our dear bishop. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You have been listening to the story of our dear Bishop Oswansa. What do you have to share to bless someone out there? Please take our numbers on the screen. Call us and we'll give you that opportunity to be a blessing to someone out there. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, 
TBL TV. Like, comment, and share, and you will never be the same. Please use your data profitably. This is a good channel to bless someone. So when you take your time to load your data and watch, then you send it to others to be blessed. Bishop, before we went on a break, <laughs> you were talking about your mom that um, fights a lot. And it's amazing that a woman like this very loud and very troublesome, but she was still quiet. How was that? Yeah, I remember mm. somebody can come to our family and say, are you sure you are Susie's uh, son? Wow. I look like my mom. Mm. Okay, but only by my character yeah. is different. Mm. And I didn't, I, I used to fall sick. Mm. So they thought maybe I would die before my time. Wow. Because term I maybe one term I'll go to school about two weeks. Just two weeks. Because I'll fall sick. Wow. I normally fall sick. All my siblings are uh, fat and tall, but I'm really slim because I used to fall sick and mm. food wasn't something that I loved. Loved. It. Okay, I didn't know, but now I know why maybe it was happening. Yeah. So as I was saying, my daddy, my mom was just rabbi. Because my daddy chased a lot of women. Yeah. So sometimes he chased my daddy. So many things happened. So in my home Did, wasn't Was she fighting your dad? Yes. For yes. chasing the women. Obi on this side, so the fight. So my home wasn't a peaceful home. Mm. There's nothing called peace. Mm. Oh wait, my mom talking fighting. Fighting is normal thing for my mom. So Bishop, you know, it, it's not about money. Because your dad was very rich. Yeah, very you rich. were living at a, a plush area. Yeah. But still, but fight. Later, later, after she's four, she became poor. Very mm. poor. When daddy died? No. I told you she, uh, she fall sick. Yes. One day she, she came from a uh, trip. And I remember she was going to the bathroom. I go with, I'd, with my daddy. And she shouted at the bathroom. So I went to call my mom. Wow. See from that time, one second to another, one second to another. So she what, became blind. She became he paralyzed. became blind. Yeah, came blind, came paralyzed. Wow. She been one one place for a long time. I have a lot of big big men friends, but they all rejected my daddy. So there were fancy people took that. Oh, they took this and they sold the company. Oh. They sold the Timakas. So they wasn't sending money. So things became difficult. And living in that area, mm -hmm. when things are not okay with you, mm -hmm. it's very horrible. Mm -hmm. Everybody is rich, everybody. In that, this family, things are hard. You cannot do what you used to do. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to steal. Wow. Yes, even to eat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have to steal. And so many, like my life, that's why women was giving you money how to do whatever yeah. I had to do, had to follow friends. I yeah. remember I follow, that's why I said sugar mommy. Yeah. I follow a certain woman because of money. Mm. I had to do nasty things just to have food to eat. Yeah. So I did so many things. I steal people's money mm. just to eat because wow. I want to live a life, I want to maintain certain lifestyle. Yeah. That, so it was difficult in the area, being in this area and you come out. Bishop, there is one interesting thing. Mm -hmm. Daddy had a lot of money. Yeah. Lot of women. Yeah. The, the bad lifestyle. Mm -hmm. At the end of it all, he lost everything. He lost everything. Someone is watching us. They are in their prime time. Mm -hmm. They have money. Mm -hmm. They have everything. The women are to their beck and call. Mm -hmm. They don't know tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What can you share? And then I want you to know, every money God has given to you, mm. you'll be accountable for it. Mm. And God wants you to use the money to glorify his name, mm. not for your selfish. Yeah. I've seen this in several men who think mm. they can control. Solomon said, mm. look at the account of Solomon. Yeah. Somebody did so many things, but the end is a vanity. Yeah. There's an evil day coming. Yeah. Please turn. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And you can make it. Amen. Amen.
So, uh, I started living a certain lifestyle that's horrible now. If I remember those lifestyles, mm -hmm. sometimes I become sad. Wow. So I don't want to see any of my ex in life. Mm. I don't want to see any of my ex in life. I remember London, I was preaching somewhere, and one of them took a, a train and came there. In UK? UK. But you had given your life to Christ. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, he came. He didn't want to know whether it's true that it's me <laughs> that preaching because he heard that I'm going to preach, but she don't believe that I can be born again. Wow. Yes. So she came there? She came. And what did she say? I was preaching. She just came from, opened his mouth, looking at me. <laughs> and she sat down. And she sat down. <laughs> what did you say, Bishop? Oh. I remember certain things. <laughs> Even did, in the what, preaching. What I did to her. So, <laughs> so I say I'm sorry. Oh, so after everything, you, you apologized? Yeah. Wow. I, I'm sorry. Because somebody that, uh, excuse my big virginity, and that's all. When one come to me, I said, hey, that's all. Fin we finished. Wow. That's how I was doing. When I finished with you, there can be one break your virginity and. I wanted to we count those women, those who can break dust. Ah, so you, they clap for them or they give yes. them money? Hey, no. What they give you? Your friend will give you name. And uh, they'll give you thumbs up. Yes, 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 oh, yes, yes, yes. So you write the name, this one, Virgin, you use, this you one. use red pen to write the, those names. <laughs> God is good, though. I, I pray that they'll forgive me. Oh, I Rev, they, me many yes. years ago, they are yeah. forgiving you. So when you do that they won't come again or they'll start no they, they wanted to come they 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 wanted to come but please i don't know when you meet me i don't know you I'm, <laughs> I'm moving with another lady so you don't come around you see that they will call me that that, that, that the same. even when you're young yeah that's wow. the name that they gave me so <laughs> gosh have mercy what? <laughs> so I did nasty things yeah. to women. I yeah. did nasty things to women, mm. but I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, that's true. So I used to go to club, so many things. I was, I got a, a job. Did you have children in, in, no, in no, that? No, 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 no. You, you, can't get, you, you can't get pregnant. How can you? When you come to me, mm -hmm. I will tell you, I will, don't like condom. But don't get pregnant. If you want to get pregnant, that's the end of relationship. <laughs> you tell them when they come to you. Yes, when we, the relationship starts. <laughs> okay, so have sex without condom, but don't get pregnant. So when you get pregnant, that's all. So in my mind, I don't want, because my daddy has got a lot of yeah. children, I, say, I don't want to have any child. You didn't want it's something, a marriage wasn't something that I thought I'm going to marry. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because I wanted to just live a life. Wow. Life of pleasure. Mm, a life of pleasure. Yeah. But that's what I was doing. So at what point did you have the encounter? I remember I went to this called Kokamio in Kumasi. And I got a girlfriend that night. So I took, in I the went, disco? I went with a girlfriend and I came with a different girl to the house. <laughs> and I remember when I was going to take a shower. And I came to the room. Mm. When I came to the room... I don't know. I sense a presence in that room. Mm. And like someone is talking to you. Mm. Michael, when you do you know where you are coming from, you know where you are going. Mm. If you die, do you know where you are going? And I start crying. And the girl was there. Oh, she thought maybe I took something. Yeah. I, thought, I was crying. I sensed something come from Yeah, friend. you didn't know what. She wasn't the girl talking, but I heard a voice. Mm. I heard a voice, so I told my sister, please, that's all. can you take this lady to your room? And the girl thought, maybe I'm waiting. Oh, so I'm this was happening in your house? Yes. So you called your sister to take your girlfriend to yes. her room? Yes, And the girl thought, maybe yeah, there's another girl coming, that's why maybe <laughs> I'm doing those things. <laughs> I cried the whole night. Because they knew you. <laughs> I cried the whole night, and the next day, mm. I think Archbishop was doing this faith, faith confession at Mantuma, faith and those times, faith confession. Mm. 
of they were doing convention. Archbishop was the one who came. Which Archbishop? At Uncle Williams. Okay. At Bantuma. Yeah. Those times we used to do out, outdoor uh, programs. Yeah. Uh, here. Around that area. Mm. At Bantuma. Mm. I, was, I was living in Africa, Mongo. Mm. In Bantuma. So I went there. Mm. And I said, Come and give a last cry. So I just laid my hands. I didn't know what I was doing. Wow. And I didn't know what is it. But then it was Saturday. So mm. Sunday, uh, my friends were going to church. They used to go to church as club this. Mm. So I just went with them. But one funny thing that, that has got to, I spelled my name there. So <laughs> when I get there, as about the people thought that is here because of <laughs> women. So you sit there and you start people. <laughs> yes. So I remember one of the pastors called me and started advising me. I was like, but I met Jesus, but yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was there to say, but yeah. what thought? Because I went to my Jerry Kells. You went there? Yeah. Wow. I can dress like Michael Jackson. Wow. This, this, this Michael Jackson hair. That, Come this oh, way. I, I can do. I, I used to go. I used to go to salon every weekend. Hey. To do my hair. Like a woman. Yes. Wow. I used, I used to go there. I want to look good. Yeah. So I used to do. I can be on the mirror one hour just shaping my hair. Hey. I can shape my head myself. With the Michael Jackson's design. Anything I can do it. Wow. And I like to dress certain lifestyle. So uh I went to church mm. with Jan Jerry Kells. Mm. So people look you they, they, they thought maybe I'm there. But Lord they proved them wrong. Mm. And I didn't have I decided not to have a girl as a platonic friend. I don't have any friend. When you gave your life to Christ? Yeah. Wow. Because the pastor advised me, I decided not to have a platonic friend. So when it closed, go back. People So what, does it mean that you were, you became alone when you gave your life to yeah. Christ? Yeah. Normally, mm. I love being alone. Mm. Okay. I became, I have a, a, a cousin, mm. like Fua, who was my cousin, we used to go back. I stopped doing other things. Yeah. So other, when a woman come to me, I say, please, it's just talking women around me. Wow. I started living a lifestyle. Wow. But it was difficult because friends would come weekend. So it was difficult. So God helped me and I came to Accra. So when the friends come, what happened? Sometimes they come and I'll see the thing that happened at this school. No, <laughs> okay. Those things were disturbing me. Yeah. Because so I decided to relocate to Accra. Hmm. Wow. That helped me because I came to Accra, I came to meet, you know. Bishop Titi of it. Yes. Yeah. Bishop of is like a cousin to me. Oh, wow. So they helped me because that time they were strong. Yeah. So I came to Accra. Wow. And live a Christian lifestyle. And there's something that God spoke to me about. Mm. God gave me a personal word. Mm. Because when I became born again, I used to ask questions. Yeah. I used to go to a chairman things a lot. Mm. So I asked I, I didn't ask God, give me, I was asking God, why this is happening? God, and so God started showing me things in my family. Mm. Why this was going on. Mm. So I started learning, and God gave me Joshua 1.8. Mm. God told me, if I want to be exceptional, I should live by his way. Wow. So all my life, this now become my uncle. Your uncle. To show what it is. Mm. Everything I do, mm. my base on what is written. Mm. Every decision I take, my base on what is written. Wow. Everything I, in my life, that's not become my lifestyle. Wow. So God has delivered me from so many things. Yeah. And I came to Accra. So when you came, you didn't face any of those oh, challenges. It came. Every, sometimes when you go to church, mm. I don't know why, because mm. I don't see myself that I should, I don't look attractive to, but, no, let me talk about my hair. Yeah. I came to, I came with the same hair. Mm -hmm. I used to go to, I'm born again. But when you're going to wait on somebody, you want to look at your hair. I used to look at the person, <laughs> watching, look like, watching your hair. Okay. But difficult for me because all my life I live with you the plenty hair. It, yes. Okay. But one day God spoke to me, mm. so I just went there. I was, the time I was cutting my hair, I was crying. 
Yeah, because I thought maybe I will not look good. <laughs> so I don't want to even look at my face. Mm. So I can't you didn't look at your face when no, you cut it? No, 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 because I thought maybe I'm going to look something. So gradually God helped me to overcome it. Mm. And I came to Accra, I came to serve. All my life I served in the church. I became mm. one again at 22 years. Wow. Yeah. I did 22 years, but thank, I wish I wasn't in the world. Yeah. Yeah, because it's all wasted years. Yeah. And my life turned around. Around. So I started talking to people about Christ. Mm -hmm. Talking to people about Christ, serving the church. Mm. I served not because of men of God, I should serve, but yeah. I want to do something for my oh Father God. in heaven. So I serve, I serve, I serve. And God opened the door. I married. I got married. Mm. Yeah, and go in over. church while serving. Yeah, good. In church, where I'm serving. I got a job to do, mm. and later, I knew God has called me yeah. in the full time because earlier of my Christian life, mm. where the knowledge I can meet you and just to come. say things, and I love to pray. I can pray ten hours a day. Wow. Just pray. Not praying for myself, praying for those times, a lot of crusades. Yeah. We used to, I used to pray for a crusade so that souls be warm. Yeah. Not because I want anything from God. Mm. I'll fast mm. so that souls, that's what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. Mm. That's how I longed to, I would long to pray. Mm. I can pray 10 hours. When I see you, I can pray now. I'll pray again. You're doing? Wow. I remember going to the, God connect me to uh, uh, Reverend are there main yeah. gospel lights? Yeah. yeah, that's why God connected with deliverance. Those times, the main I was in town. Yeah, I used to go and clean the, the Achimota forest, was using the this thing. Wow, Del deliverance. Wow, and Lord and behold, my deliverance took four years to get my deliverance. Four years, anytime when I sleep, I see somebody sleeping with me. Mm. I can watch telly mm. and see a lady, and in the night, I saw a lady sleeping with me. Jesus. And I was living holy, pure. Still? Yes. Wow. And I can fast. I can fast seven days. That seven day, I was myself. Sleeping with a lady? Yeah. So, Bishop, what was that? God, I know, later I got to go, was going to train me mm. in deliverance. So, mm. I used to go to the deliverance ground. Mm. I didn't mean, sir. But they would pray for everybody, everybody would fall, I would stand. They would pray for everybody, everybody would fall, I would stand. So, I was crying. So, I used to. I, I started crying. I said, maybe I didn't do it well. Yeah. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. So I did it about 20 times. I thought maybe the blood <laughs> of Jesus, because I didn't say it's right. That's why I said, use the blood of Jesus. I use the blood. That thing will happen. Wow. But later I got to know, God wanted me to learn mm. deliver, teaching me mm. to deliver. So I used to go to deliver. I asked questions. And they may start asking me a lot of questions after, why this? Why this? Why this? But the man told me, Michael, maybe God knows what he's doing. Yeah. So I got my deliver one day. The person didn't touch me and said, Holy God, minister, I just vomiting blood. You were vomiting blood? Yes. Wow. That's how I got my deliver. And since from that time, I never been to a deliver. And God wow. started using me. God started using me into deliverance. I meet people. When I see you have a problem, that day, they didn't want to leave. Wow. Yes. And God has used me. And I travel to UK. Oh, I'm, I long to travel to UK. You know, mm. Ashanti's mm. on travel. So I go up in the door. The day I stepped to UK, I had a dream that I met a man of God. He said, Give me a seat. I give him 20 pounds. And he said, What do you want? I said, well, on your anointing. I said, I have to go back and do it. Go back mm. to Ghana <laughs> and do it. That night, at first, I know my people are here. <laughs> they want me to go to Ghana. <laughs> go back to Ghana and do it. And I didn't go. You didn't? But I, all the years I spent in UK, I can tell you, anywhere I work wasn't profitable other than doing the work of God. Mm. I met a lot of people. They can say, we are looking for six people in this company. Mm. <laughs> I'll go there and say, you, they will yeah. take the rest. Yeah. They will not pick me. I struggle in UK working. I do car wash, I do so many things. And I was one day I was crying to God. And the parents of God came. God, the parents of God came to my room and said, go back. buy instruments and go back to Ghana. 
Wow. I didn't send her here. Hmm. And that time, people are buying things to, don't buy, I should buy instruments. <laughs> if I don't have a good work to do, so mm. I go and do her car wash. And I went to see a, a, a white man who is selling instruments. I said, please, can I pay small? I said, we don't do it here. But I was going to come. Wow. It's OK. I put 50 there, 20. Gradually, gradually, I get full set instruments. And I paid. And after I paid, maybe when you travel, when you come, you have to get some money. Yeah. Go and say, go back. Wow. God, I left the country for some time. Our family. I can't go empty hand. He said, go back. I don't have tickets. How to ship my things. But remember, in London, where there's car wash, after one day I was going to buy a drink in one of the shops. And a Nigerian man just passed me, and God just give me a word to the man. Mm. I turn. So please, can I talk to you? So what do you want? I said, you are sick. God said, because of the man just now. So who are you? I said, my name is Nzu. He said, come. Wow. The man called Baba Tunde. I want his car. I said, tell me. And God started ministering to me. And I pray instantly, he's got a healing. Wow. And I said, who are you? She took me to his house. No, no, this man work. She shipped things to Africa. Wow. Okay, she bought my ticket and sell my things. I came to Ghana with 20 pounds. I was in the plane, I was crying. Hmm. Because girls had to come to Ghana. And even I spoke to some prophets in the US, UK, they said, no, God cannot do that. Don't go. You struggled before coming here, don't go. That's what they said. I said, no, it's not God. It's not the voice of God. But I mean, I know the voice of God. Yeah. I know what I heard. So I came. But I thought I was in the plane. And I hear right. Because huh. I know what's ahead of me. And I came to Ghana. But I came to Ghana. And today. And God, I've been faithful. Yeah. Bishop, it's good. You raised this. You spoke to some pastor yeah, friends. About, about, about uh, yeah, elderly pastors, about three. And they say you didn't hear right. They say, no, God will not do that. So human beings can misinform and misdirect yeah, people. That is why my life, mm. about 80% that I know, mm. it by Holy Ghost. Mm. Mm. I love waiting for God. Someone is watching us. They know they are supposed to go into full-time ministry mm -hmm. or they are supposed to leave a child of God. God speaks to everybody. Yeah. They are supposed to leave one establishment to the other. But friends will say, don't go. This is a plush place. Don't do this. This is that. What do you have to tell them? There's no two pastors are the same. Each one mm. has an assignment, different assignment. Yeah. So please, Sometimes our fathers, we call fathers, 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 please, they deceive us. Mm. They want you to go through the same thing they go through. It's not supposed but please, to be. But it was a call on to me. Mm. I will answer and show, show you. you great and mighty things. Every child of God had, so far you are living right, mm. you can go to the Father. Mm. If I follow some of the people, like please, I'll miss it. Because for 15 years, I'll run away from God. Because I don't want to be a pastor. Mm -hmm. But God have mercy on me. So if a young man go before God, live right, mm. go before God mm. and ask God. Why God should tell you your problem yeah. to somebody? Why don't want to tell you? Mm. Because we think we cannot hear from God. Mm. But listen to me. He said, I know my sheep. Just be a sheep mm. and hear the voice of God. Yeah. Just be obedient to the word of God. Wow. Live right. Wow. Decided they are going to live right, mm. deliberate, live mm. right before God. Mm. Hey, God will speak to you. Mm. May God bless you. Amen. Deliberately live right. Yeah. Or I will say that make up consciously your mind and consciously live, live right. right. Yes. So that you'll be a sheep of God. Yes. Bishop, can you in a minute talk about your books yeah. and where we can? We can, yeah, I, I think have this is cool. all my books. I didn't do what they call it research. 
Mm. This book, I was in a plane going to South Africa, and a, a white man was sitting beside me, and she was taking alcohol. And so I started talking, to, but I spoke to me about financial bondage. She spoke to me about something that starts with financial bondage. I said, where can I find this book? I said, there's no books. Ah, all the things, I mean, no, I don't have a book. So when I stand, God said, write it. Mm. So I just sat down. When I sit down, it just come, I just start writing. I didn't, it just come, yeah, it just come, it just come, it just drop. The Holy Ghost is a teacher. Yeah, drop. Yeah. So I have foundational bondage one and two. Mm. I have a mass in the false prophet. Mm. And I have prayer factor. Mm. And I have symptoms of backsliding. Symptoms of backsliding. backsliding. Yeah. And I have I have six books. Mm. Yeah, I think that's what I remember. Mm. Yeah. So when you go to shop at my server, normally when my books, I dash it to schools. Oh, okay. When I write it. I to dash schools? It to schools. When you I just give preach. them out? Yes. No, my wow. books, not something that is profitable. It's for just, uh, God gave it to me to just bless people. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I do. Wow, God bless you. So my seven shops my seven will be get, it. get foundational it. Foundational bondage one and two. One and two. Prayer and factor. Prayer factor. Or master for profit for, okay. and uh, symptoms of backsliding. Okay. Yeah, and prayer for yeah, yeah. Bishop. Yeah. God bless you so much God bless you. for blessing our lives. I have learnt a lot. You have made me to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I know that this will go a long way to bless others. Viewers, I hope you have been blessed by this powerful testimony from our bishop. Whatever you do on this earth, make up your mind that you will live right. It's amazing what the man of God shared. You know, the quote for the day, Bishop, God just gives me the quote for the day. And the quote for the day says that every breath we take and every heart that beats is just God's mercy. So learn to appreciate him by doing things right. It's amazing. The Spirit of God is one. Yeah. Whatever you are doing, consciously live right. Yes. Give your all to God. Mm. Don't do anything by yourself. Mm. This testimony is loaded with a lot of life lessons. Mm. Take your time and watch. Take the life lessons one after the other. Mm. One after. You can even write a book from this testimony. Mm. And then you come and share with us. Mm. Because we have learned a lot today. You can have the whole world. Bible says, what shall it profit a man if he has the, gains the whole world and lose his soul? Mm. If you gain everything, the father gained a lot. He was a rich man living at a plush area. Mm. But chasing women left and right, marrying so many women, at the end of it was sickness and death. Give your life to Jesus and consciously live right so that the lord will preserve your life bishop once again god bless you for this powerful testimony i hope you have been blessed please share this video to bless families and loved ones as you do that you will also be blessed this is a form of evangelism do this to bless someone and the lord will also bless you i hope it has been a blessing this episode, I have been blessed. I know you have been blessed too. That will be all for this week. See you same time next week. Bye-bye.